Candace and Allison. Yeah. Here. You've planned so many events and gorgeous weddings. It's really nice to know that you actually do have options when it comes to how much you need to spend. You don't have to sp you don't have to break the bank on everything, right? Totally true. Now with you two, you say it all starts with a vision board. So you're going to take us through. We're going to yes. talk a little bit about how you can save, how you can splurge, what you might want to be thinking about, whether you're spending money or not. But it all starts with your beautiful idea board. Yes, absolutely. And this is kind of like old school Pinterest. So yes. we like doing vision <laughs> boards because it gives that kind of tactile nature to the event design as a whole. So when you're building a color, what we wanted to do, or rather building a story, is start with the hottest trend for 2018, which is ultraviolet. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see this throughout like interior design, you're going to see it in fashion design, and it's a really hot wedding trend. So for those really savvy summer brides, they're going to be all over this. Okay. So, um, Just want to point out though, it's mm -hmm. time to say goodbye to Millennial Pink. Yeah, we're time over it. Time to say goodbye to Millennial over Pink. Pink. <laughs> yeah, ready? So this many is... designers on the show have been saying that we are so over. I think yeah. that they just don't like that it's called Millennial Pink. Totally. It was fun while it lasted. It's a lot of blush. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This year's all about the purple. So okay. you can see like little bits of it and how you can incorporate it into all the different event elements that go into a wedding design. So your centerpieces, you know, the vases, the fabric textures, which will resonate through like the clothes that you wear, like the bridal uh, the bridal made dresses and the mm -hmm. table linens mixed metals is a really nice complement to the um, like the, the warm lavender nature of the the color scheme and then of course flowers so we're gonna take you over here yes and what we're gonna do as a whole throughout the segment is kind of show you how you can create the design and achieve it with splurging and saving so this is the okay. splurge design so we're not gonna spend too too much time on it but essentially it's like one large vessel yes. that has more premium flowers in it so like roses are more expensive than and orchids are more expensive yeah. whereas over here we have bright spring florals so they're in the same kind of palette but they're they're a little bit you know friendlier on the budget like mm -hmm. tulips and hyacinth and things like that yeah. Very nice. So the thing, the thing that's cool about this is that you're getting, it feels almost the same. Yeah, exactly. So you put it in multiples, it feels just as big. What you don't want is a situation where you either get this yes. or you get that first one, right? You're going to feel like people are going to know we, uh, we are trying to save money on the floral. But this is a really nice way to do it. And if you get mm -hmm. actually planners to help you out, you guys can come up with those solutions for people, can't you? Absolutely. And another really good tip is incorporate candles into it so they uh, don't all have to be not every vessel has to be floral based you can yes. kind of round it out and make it larger utilizing these candle elements would you two ever go faux it's actually not <laughs> true <laughs> they not almost cheaper. had a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> Faux no. is not cheaper, okay. uh, which is probably a surprise to most people. Yes. Um, but where it is good to use faux is something that's far away. So we do have some examples in the back here, ah. like a chandelier, for example, mm -hmm. or an archway. Those are further away, and you can maybe get your florist to rent them for you. Yes. Or maybe you know your florist has another wedding coming up, then they're using those same ones as well. Uh -huh. So you can kind of repurpose them. But it's not cheaper. It's not cheaper? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's all I need to hear. It's you don't true. have to tell me twice. <laughs> Give me the real stuff. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about table settings now um, and where you would be spending more and how you would spend less. Perfect. We have two examples here of a formal dining set. Yes. So that is for your three course dinner. We have an example here that is a splurge so where we've actually upgraded everything from what okay. your venue would offer you and here's an example where actually most of it is from your venue and as you can see uh -huh. it's not that different right no. and the important thing to note here is making the decision on what you should actually splurge on. That's what I'm going to take you through. So here we've upgraded the charger plate, you know, to have that romantic feel that we talked about earlier. We've upgraded the china, um, the cutlery here. We have some great trends mixed, and then we've also upgraded the water glass and crystal, right? Right. This is all very expensive to do, especially in terms of, in terms of your number of guests. You have to multiply that by everybody. Yes. So maybe if a smaller wedding, that could be good, but if it's like 300, 500 people, that could get quite expensive. Absolutely. So our tip here is from your venue, what you could do is you could ask your venue to offer you the large dining plate mm -hmm. and use that as a charger plate instead ah. and they'll do that at no extra cost if they're nice especially yes. um, and that's like that's a great way to look like a charger it elevates you know the seating and the napkin and the other thing that we would suggest to do uh, especially in this color palette is to upgrade the napkin because the napkins mm -hmm. are actually quite cheap to upgrade under a dollar depending on sort of where you're getting it from okay. and then it has the most visible surface area for a visual impact in terms of like the whole room. Um, right. Another saving tip here too is to combine uh, the menu with the C card. 
So your oh, menus yeah. are now personalized, as you can see here. Um, and then that's a good way to have kind of like a two-in-one, an extra save. Save that on paper. That is very smart. Yeah. You're saving on paper. You're saving on cost. And what you're looking for is impact. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it makes sense to do something that is going to be so low cost, like the napkin, and exactly. make that stand out, exactly. versus how many people are going to remember your gold-plated knife. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, they might steal your knife. But they might steal your gold-plated <laughs> knife. But were they really going to remember and that? And then 50 don't cents know. a piece, it really adds up. That adds yeah. up. It really adds and up. And there's nothing wrong with this. So what mm -hmm. a good way to save um, a few dollars. Now let's talk about the cake. <laughs> this is actually where I wanted to start. There's something about the cake. Smell this guy. I just, <laughs> it's just the, the idea of fried dough. I want this beside me for every show now. It's just such a beautiful oh. scent. When it comes to the cake, people are looking, I mean, they get bigger and better every wedding season. Yep. And people want impact. Okay, so show us or tell us about the splurge cake and the save cake. So what's funny is that earlier she asked me which one is the splurge because you yes. actually couldn't mm. tell and that's really important, know. right? Cakes have to be big mm -hmm. because otherwise you can't see it if you're from far away. Yes. Um, so you do want that height for the impact. People want to take photos with it. It's a big moment as well. So here we have the splurge and then here we have the save. We've done the marble uh, sort of fondant and it's also on this one as well because marble cake is a very big trend for 2018. Uh -huh. um, so this is a three-tier fondant cake. They actually both serve 150 people. Oh, they do? This one mm -hmm. is like under a third of the price. Under and a third one. of the price. Guys, I, I go for the save. <laughs> I want this one. So does everyone just pick? So the best part about this is that they're actually mini donuts. No, mm -hmm. like who doesn't like donuts? Or so? you could, I wish you could smell it. I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure. it's really good. Uh, yeah. So this is you have two donuts per person, and it's sort of like a combination of you know the macaron towers that you guys saw. That was a really big trend before. Mm. Yeah. So this is now the mini donut sort of combined with that. And I mean, I probably went. You could get people to pick it off, or you can have your server serve it, which might yeah, be probably yeah. be better that way. Hygienic. You don't want someone like me coming to your donut <laughs> yeah. cake and picking You'll take it myself. More than one. I'm gonna take five. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're going to lose some money. And a common misconception about cakes, too, is some people, people come to us often and say, is it cheaper if we have, like, a few fake tears in the cake? Yeah. And um, it's actually, a, it's a common misconception because it's not actually the cake, like the sugar and the flour that cost the money. It's the artistry that goes into mm. it. Oh, so similar to, cheaper. yeah, other things. It's it doesn't like necessarily make a big <laughs> cost it. impact. Yeah. Okay, these are all good insider mm -hmm. tips, ladies. Thank you so much for that. I want to mention uh, the florals are from Jackie O. Flor the rentals and the gorgeous drapery at the back are from Event Rental Group. And the wedding cakes, you can find them at Sugar Queen. Thank you so much for that. Thank Ladies. you. So nice.